Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome back to another May May Made It episode. And today, we are going to be making something for St. Patrick's Day. Something for our door, or our office cubicle, or our friend's house. Or, I have a friend named Mary who watches me here. Hello, Bright Eyes. And she had asked about something for her mother's room. And um, just to bring some color in and things. And I thought this would be super cute. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't do St. Patrick's Day decorating around the house. Um... It's just not something I do. Now, we have done, in the past, when I work in the apartment industry, we do a lot of it there. So, um, I don't know. This kind of little thing that came to me. Okay, this is a placemat from the Dollar Tree. You know these placemats. Let me see if I can fold this where you can see. It's just a circle. See that? I just want to be able to see it was one big circle. And as we start cutting, you'll be able to really see it. But we're going to use two of these. I'm going to take one away for a minute because we're going to get started with just one. Now what I have done, and we're going to start working at the top, okay, just at any portion you pick where you want to be the top. What I've done is taken an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper and I've cut it down to eight and a half by eight. That's what we've done. And now we're going to put the two points at the top where they meet at the circle on either side. Can you see that? That's going to be where our first, our first guide mark is. And now we're going to take a marker and just mark it. And you have to be a little um, light when you're pressing because this is a woven fabric that you're that you're marking on so your marker will want to move. Now come down the side and do the same thing. And see how my marker moved? I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to come back and just make my mark. And then down this side and do the same thing. Just so long as you can see where you're going to be cutting. Now this is a very cheap craft, guys. It's like, you know, $2 for two placemats. And honestly, if you had another material at home, like if you had um, some fabric that you didn't mind putting as the backer, you could do this with one placemat. I'm just going to use another placemat as my other backer. I feel like I came down far enough on that side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is cut this away. Don't use good scissors. This, this is difficult to cut as it is. Use some scissors that you don't care if they get messed up and some really good industrial scissors would be good. These are not industrial scissors, but if I take my time, I can cut through it pretty good. And I noticed I've already made one of these and the fabric did not fray terribly. And because it's kind of a nylon or kind of a plasticky fabric, I think you could take your lighter and kind of do the whole lighter thing to you know, stop it from fraying. I didn't do that because I'm going to hot glue it and I think it'll be just fine. I'm just going to go ahead and cut down this line. And I'm just going to cut to the line and stop. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. To the line and stop. There we go. Alright, and now what we're going to do is we're going to come from the edge to our line and the edge to our line. And this is how I did it to make sure that they matched up correctly. I folded this guy in half and matched up these two lines that I had cut. Okay, and then I held it firmly and all you're going to do is make a cut that's kind of a little curve to the line. Because the hat brim is not straight across, we're going to just kind of curve it. And you can cut through too. It's just a little bit harder. With some really good industrial scissors, you shouldn't have a problem at all. And you just want to cut those away. And now you have the shape of a leprechaun's hat. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, of course we're not through yet. I don't want to turn it sideways so you can see the whole thing. We're not through yet. We're going to doll it up a good bit. All right, the next thing we want to do. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take hot glue. And we're going to run it along this edge and this edge. And we're going to place our other placemat on top. You'll see why in just a few minutes. It's much easier to do it this way, I have learned. So I'm going to run this down this edge. Don't be shy with the hot glue because you want it to get into those fibers. Now I'm going to kind of line it up. Press it into place. I'll flip it over so you can see what we're doing. Remember, it is a fiber material, so hot glue can come through it, so be careful. Okay, get that glued down. Now I'm going to glue it on this edge. Press that into place. Another good place to use your silicone pieces. 
Let's get that pressed really good. Turn it around. And now I'm going to do this edge. Press that down. You want to try to get a really good, you know, no breaks in your hot glue. You want to have a nice smooth line. Now I'm just going to fold this back and do this edge. Now if you wanted to, you could probably stitch this together. I don't think that'd be too hard to do. Just run, you know, like an embroidery needle or something, a very sturdy needle through it and stitch it together. You might do a blanket stitch. That would be really cute. Or even if you wanted to stitch it with some ribbon around it, like a, like a um, seam binding would be cute. You guys know me, I like quick and easy, so. Okay, Close this down and press it in place. Now we're getting somewhere. Now what you wanna do is let this cool completely, okay? Let your hot glue cool until it is totally sealed up. Now I left this line open, this edge open, cause we're gonna stuff it, okay? So once you have your hat all glued into place and it's cooled off, you wanna just take your scissors, and I'm not gonna do it yet cause I gotta let it cool, and cut this away, okay? So once it cools, we'll cut it away. Okay, so mine is cool and I'm gonna start in this corner and I'm going to cut where my first piece is. This way I know I match up. Instead of trying to cut two pieces, I'm just gonna cut right to my other one. It makes it so much easier because if you try to cut two pieces, it's really hard to get this weave to be just right. This way your hot glue kind of stabilizes it, doesn't let it kind of move around on you, and you can just cut away. There's one side. And there you go, the beginnings of your leprechaun hat. It's so cute, isn't it? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff it from this end, okay? And I'm just using some polyfill. I'm gonna put some over here to the side. You may not, if you make it as fluffy as you want it. I just wanted it to have some body to it. It doesn't have to be real fluffy, I just didn't want it to be flat. I just think it's cute when it has a little bit of life to it. Okay, now once you have your fiber filled pretty much to the edge, I'm gonna show you a little tip. This will help you get this closed up and fluffed just like it should be, okay? What you wanna do is run some hot glue about three inches right here on this edge, okay? And then seal that shut. Just that far for now and let that cool. If you use a low melt glue gun, this goes pretty quick. It is important that you let it cool, and you'll see why in just a minute. You can even pick it up and kind of squish it together once the glue has cooled off some. Okay, now once that has cooled off and it's holding really well, hold the um, edge of it and take your scissors and move your fiber fill into that corner. Don't push too hard because you will come through this weave, but get you some in that corner so it'll be nice and, you know, have a nice turn to it. Okay. And now we can keep going around with the, with the stuffing, or with the hot gluing. Same thing. Hold it in place. Smash it good and get that glue between the weave. I think this is a fun project. I don't, I don't see why the kids couldn't help you with it. They, of course they couldn't hot glue, but they could certainly stuff it. That would be fun. This would be cute for a teacher's door. Um... For, I don't know, I just think it's a really cute idea and it doesn't cost very much. Again, I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of lay that in there good. I think I'm going to put a little more because I kind of used a lot of that over there. And if you don't want to fill this with fiber fill, that makes it expensive. And this is a St. Patrick's Day craft that you may or may not use again. Use plastic bags. They work just fine. That's a good way to get rid of your Walmart bags or your Kmart bags or wherever you shop. Um, 
just use them. Don't be afraid to do that. Plus, if you're going to hang this outside, it's wonderful to have that inside because the weather's not going to affect it. So I'm just going to continue. One thing I'm going to do real quick is get some of this fiber fill up into this corner. So that when I glue it down, it'll have a little fluff too. There we go. Okay, now what you want to do is go back and check the edges and make sure there are no holes where any of the fiber fill show it. And we have one right there. Do you see that? This is all you do to fix it. Shoot some hot glue right there. And then push it together. Being very careful. And that will seal that shut no problem. Like I said, if you're really heavy with your glue, you won't have a problem anyway. Okay, so now for the fun part. Remember I told you that I'm trying to use the stuff I've got? <laughs> well, I didn't have any wire for this. I wanted to hang it from wire, and I'm out of a good sturdy wire. So here's what I did. I found a paint can that had one of these hooks on it. And look, they just pop out, or at least the one I have just popped out. If you can't pop it out, just get you some wire snips and snip it off. And it's already in the perfect shape to hang it. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to pick the front. And I'm going to let this be my front. So on the back, I'm going to go right back here. And now here's what's super easy. You're going to see where it's going to go. And you're going to come out a little bit from that point and poke this into the weave. Okay. So I've poked that side in. And now I'll put a little, little tug on it. I'm going to poke this side in. Just like that. Super easy. And then, using the scraps that you have left over, I cut two squares from my trim pieces. I'm going to put a good pile of hot glue and then I'm going to put this on top of that. And doing that will help that the weave to stick together to the hot glue and then press it in place. And that hanger's not going anywhere. Super easy, huh? And another way to use something, I told my husband after I figured this out, I'm like, okay, never throw a paint can hook away again because these are awesome. I could use these on wreaths, on wall hangings, you name it. I love that idea. Okay. So more glue, and I'm not being stingy because this is going to be where any pressure goes to it, which won't be much because it doesn't weigh anything. I love this. I love it. I love it. It opens a whole new world for, you know, hanging things. And look how it just goes away. I mean, you know it's there, but nobody else is going to know. Now for the super fun part. Let's decorate the front. So what I did for mine is I have this little um, glittered cardstock strip that is a 2 by 12 I won this at a party, one of our card parties, and I thought, I don't know if I'll use that a lot. But you know what? They're really good for this kind of stuff and for punches. So I took out a gold piece, and that is going to be what goes across as my hat belt, just like this. Is it a hat belt? What is that called? I don't remember, but we're going to put it there like that. So I'm just going to measure it up and cut it just by looking at it. Just like so. And then I'm going to hot glue it on. This paper's pretty sturdy. If you have ribbon, it'd be super cute with a little gold ribbon. Um, if you wanted to do it with a black ribbon. If you wanted to use um, lace. If you wanted to use flowers across, it would be cute. And you're just going to place this here and glue it down. super easy. I think it's really, it looks a lot more expensive than um, $2. Okay, now let's make a buckle. So what I did to make my buckle is I cut a 3 inch by 3 inch black square and then I cut a 2 inch piece of this strip that was left over to make the inside so it'll all work together. So we're just going to hot glue this down. Just like so. Isn't this easy and fun? I like the puffiness of it. I keep pressing on it. And then this guy. Now there is something I noticed about this portion. Let me put some hot glue in here because my I'm using my little hot glue gun and it goes through some hot glue. One thing I did notice about this, this glitter paper has a little bit of a grain to it. You want to make sure that you put this down with the same grain. If you don't, it kind of doesn't look like it's running through it. It looks like, it, then it looks like two, you know, a separate piece. And you want it to look like that it's running through. Now then, we're going to add one more touch. I'll be right back. 
Now I have this little bit of mesh ribbon that I got after Christmas on a clearance and I've tied it into a bow and I'm going to put it right up here in the top just for a little extra added something. Right here in this corner. Hold that for just a second. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this handy, is I'm going to glue these down so that when I put it outside the wind doesn't make my bow just fly away. And I'm just barely putting any glue on there just to tack it in place. And that's super cute. You could do so much more to this, or you could do less. You could just do the hat. You could do, um, you could do a real belt, which would be cute. Some actual fabric, whatever you want to do. Put in here where you can see it. But there you go. Using two Dollar Tree placemats, some stuff from our stash. All this other stuff is from our stash. And there's a cute little leprechaun hat for your front door, or wherever you need a little green this year. All right, guys. I hope that helps you out with your um, St. Patrick's Day decorations. And I will see you again. We're going to be back to our regular videoing schedule. So this week will be your Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have a big birthday party coming up this weekend for all three of my boys at one time, so I'm not going to be able to do a video every day. So as I prepare for that, we'll be doing three videos. So I will see you again on Wednesday um, where we do the midweek mix-it-up. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.